the global love doll market size, we're talking TEP and silicon, is currently valued around 418 million US dollars and is expected to expand at a compound annual growth rate of 7.67% during the forecast period between now and 2030, which would mean the Love Doll market size would be valued just over 700 million US dollars, while the global silicon market is currently valued around 19.7 billion US dollars and is also expected to reach a market value around 31 billion US dollars by 2030. And we're talking about silicon, of course, because we know the key component in making silicon love dolls. Well, when it comes to TPE or silicon, silicon is always the most desired when it comes to love dolls for one main reason. Of course, it's incredible lifelike feel. When love dolls are made from silicon, their skin is soft and has a kind of give when pressed, just like real human skin, which goes to say, these dolls are also extremely flexible and can do anything. And I mean bend, turn, and anything. So when we think about humanoid robots, and in fact, in a previous video, I talked about the humanoid human-like robot market size, which is currently only valued somewhere around 700 million US dollars, less than a billion. While Google search or market research say that the global humanoid robot size could reach 39.6 billion by 2030, meaning a 52.8 compound annual growth rate between that forecast period by 2030. But then of course, if we're talking about robots and not just love dolls, then how do we not talk about the price of computation? power sources, lithium batteries, artificial intelligence. Well, lithium polymer batteries are becoming the most popular type of batteries for use in robotics because of their lightweight, high discharge rates and relatively good capacity. Most lithium ion batteries cost anywhere between $10 and $20,000, depending on the device it powers while an electric vehicle battery is the most expensive, typically costing anywhere between $5,000 and $20,000. So would it make sense to mass produce female robots or human-like robots for the future or for sale as a common necessity, toy, or aid in various tasks? Of course, in this scenario, we're talking about artificial intelligence and fully autonomous human-like robots. Well, robots combine sensors, computation, and motors to interact intelligently with their environment. And when we think of robotics in toys, for instance, toys need to be so cheap and robust that they can be used as playthings. While there is a long history of toys that look like robots, only recently has the cost of computation dropped significantly to allow the sale of truly functional robotic toys. This entry focuses on three examples of this new generation of toys that should be of interest from the ethics perspective. We're talking about Lego robot construction sets, interactive robotic pets, and various robotic dogs that assist elderly and comfort to those who wish to have a pet but are not able to care for the real thing. So shouldn't human-like robots, female robots, love dolls with artificial intelligence be classified or put in this category? Of course, a quick Google search, a credit card, and less than $1,000, you can have a love doll sent discreetly to your house within a few days, but not without a lithium battery and an artificial intelligent brain. In 2021, when Tesla first unveiled its humanoid robot concept, which we know today as Optimus, it was just a human inside a robot suit. 
But in 2022, Tesla's founder and CEO Elon Musk unveiled two very real humanoid robot prototypes. The first was Bumble C, who walked across the stage at Tesla AI Day 2022, like it was trying not to wake a sleeping baby. That day on stage was the first time Bumble C walked untethered. Elon Musk admitted to the crowd nothing that the robot could do, of course, do more, though he and his team didn't want to risk Bumble C falling on its face. But then came Optimus, who was the real star of the show, which was revealed for the first time looking like a modern take on a medieval knight. Unable to walk, it was wheeled out onto stage, where it waved to the audience and did a quick dance move while propped up on a stand. Elon Musk described the prototype design as fairly close. He also mentioned that one day, mass-produced, these robots would help millions of people and do a lot of useful things. Today, we know that Optimus is a humanoid robot designed by Tesla as they work towards a future where humans can live and interact side by side with robots. The team at Tesla said when these robots go in mass production, they will cost less than a car, which is still a pricey concept when we think about things. Meanwhile, in China, the Xiaomi brand has developed the Cyber One robot to rival Elon Musk's Tesla bot. And from what we've seen, Xiaomi is well far advanced, as the robot could actually walk and interact. Slap some humanoid skin on there, and you've got a truly human-like robot. Developed with Sense depth vision module and combined with an AI interaction algorithm, Cyber One is capable of perceiving 3D space as well as recognizing individuals, gestures, and expressions, allowing it not only to see but to process its environment. But all of that technology and artificial intelligence doesn't come at a cheap price because Cyber One will run you anywhere between 600,000 to 700,000 Chinese yuan, which is equivalent to about 82,000 US dollars. Four times the price of what Tesla and Elon Musk are promising the Tesla bot will cost when in production. In short, we can use a lithium battery as a high performance alternative to a standard alkaline battery in many cases, and in robotics and in human-like robots. However, the benefits come at a cost. Lithium is a more expensive technology, which means a higher price point. So maybe it really is best to stick to the alkaline batteries. Well, until there is a mass-produced human-like female robot out there sitting at the same price points as the love dolls that we can afford today, we're talking about that quick Google search, a credit card, and less than $1,000, and having a discreet love doll sent to your house within a matter of days. Then the AI-powered brains are just concepts to think about for the future. Brain time. Congratulations. You made it this far in the video. What would you do if I told you you could have 25 years of good luck, and all you'd have to do is like this video and also subscribe if you haven't already. Well, what are you waiting for? Smash that like button and you'll get 25 years of good luck. And now, back to the video. Let's face it, typically, robotics and robots aren't cheap. In terms of the initial cost, maintenance, and the need for extra components, robots need to be programmed with artificial intelligence and programmed to do the task. So if this is true, then how do we get to the year 2077? Fast forwarding the speech about the future of civilization with fully autonomous flying cars and an eVTOL Airbus station 
and Hyperloop bullet trains in every district, connecting us to any district across the world, but rather focusing on our fully autonomous robotic companions that will walk among us in 2077. I was reading a comment someone wrote on one of my videos the other day, and this person wrote, Robots are the future, with or without us, which is true to any physical, material piece of technology. But not putting the notion out there that robots will replace our human species, but in a sense that typically a human being lives to about a 100 years old while fully autonomous robots can live forever. And so if humans truly only live once, a cheap humanoid female robot companion technically doesn't exist. Rewinding and highlighting the word cheap, cheap humanoid female robot companions do not exist. Or else, how do you put a price on an everlasting companionship? $30, $100, $700, $80,000? Priceless.